Hi guys, welcome to me, a postcode. I'm down in Kent, just below or just to the side of Dartford, I believe it is. It's a nice, hot, sunny day, a bit sticky really. This is version three, Dunster House Screw Fort. If you go on our website or any of our other YouTube videos, you'll be able to see the version two and version one Dunsters. And you can type in Screw Fort and figure out which one you like the look of. You won't be able to buy the others, but you'll at least see where it's being involved. It's a bit odd that they keep changing the name, or they don't change the name, that they just change the full design. Um, anyway, this is there. I've got a whole load of issues where, for example, the bolts are not fitting properly and other stuff is just not here. So obviously version three, they've changed it. Look at the size of those things. They've changed it, but not actually thought through exactly what's happening with the instructions, even that. Look at these. Like they're all just all over the shop basically. Every single bolt is sticking out and you can't actually put these pop caps in because the bolts are too long. So we had them a couple of years ago where the bolts were always too short and we had to shave down the wood slightly. TP had the same thing on their castle wood where they never drilled it out enough and then sent the bolts out. But it's just a pain in the ass. So here we are. Anyway, cargo net. Uh, monkey bars are only about a meter and a bit long, a meter and a half long. So it's, it's, a, it's an okay width, but what you're going to find is the bigger kids are held in and then they'll just try and swing. It's nice that it's nice and tall, a bit of a skinny roof, but it's nice and tall so bigger kids can get up and over and down. And then there's actually metal brackets holding the swing as well, which is quite nice. It's still coming off on just one leg, as opposed to like if it had an extra bit of wood across and then the swing attached somehow. With, a, with an angle or two, then it wouldn't actually be as bad. But coming off one leg, all the pressure's on this hit, and you're gonna find that the bolt and peg down there starts moving, because every time the kids go back, that's the biggest pressure point. So that ladder's gonna probably snap off. Um, this is a 1.2 deck, about two meter high monkey bars, two meter high swing beam, and then um, ladder at the back, so it's up and over. wooden dowels still so you're gonna get that rot issue cargo net is fine it's got some screws on the end as well with a washer on it but you're gonna find again that these start sagging like that even already so as soon as the kids actually start playing on it it's gonna start moving but for the price of the units or what they're trying to do it's not it's not so bad really and it's all concreted in just need to leave it three or four days and then get ready to play this one does come with a pre-built floor, which is quite nice. And the roof has gone back to pre-built as well. So you do have to obviously just bolt it together at the top and do a few bits and pieces. But rather than rebuilding all the floor and looking at cladding and stuff falling out of packages all the time, you do get your, your stuff there. Started at about, I don't know, nine, it's about been about four or five hours, to get this thing up. And that's had a couple of phone calls in the middle as well. So if you could actually get your head down there I mean I've done a lot of these use socket end 17 mil 10 mil and a few other bits you need to, you need to drill it all out as well so there's, there are a few bits and pieces that you do need again I'm I do this all day every day and it's done in the day basically this is an easy day for me so if you are doing it yourself probably look at a long day and maybe a weekend as long as you've got the right drill bits available spirit level hammer so Again, I use multiple drills, multiple tools, whole bucket full of stuff there. So if you've only got one drill end, obviously that will take up more time when you flick between Phillips ends and 17 mil and then 10 mils and everything else that needs to go ahead and then hammering through and then back to drills and then back to the Phillips end. But if you're looking for an install in and around England slash into Wales, then do let us know. Climbingframeinstaller.co.uk. Thank you.